Electrostatic toys are a fair rarity, and I've only got about half a dozen or a few more in my whole collection, which is pity because it's a wonderful effect. Here's a little version of it, for instance, which is made by an American guy. Let's see if I can get this in the camera and get it sharp. And if we turn it around like this, they start dancing around and lifting up. Oh dear, I've got too much reflection. We just come back to here. When you shake them, they should actually, they're, they're not bad actually, they should actually dance right out almost in the middle of the, um, of, one, of, of one of the ends, which is astonishing because um, if kids haven't seen it before, they wonder what's holding it up. There we are, they're dancing away all. Let's see if I can get it to go sharpen up again. Oh, there's a nice one little, if, without my movement at all, it quivered and, and leapt over its friends as they're readjusting themselves to the tiny little electrostatic field that's sitting in there. There's quite a lot of play value in that because there's so many things that can happen and all random, that's the best part of it. It's all highly random. There's no, there's, 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 there's nothing you expect that's going to happen. It just happens suddenly. And, and you start by shaking it and getting the electrostatic charge to work. So that I think is, uh, of the two best of the fields, and I'll, the last one I'm going to show is the best of them, I, I think, are the, are the best of, of these toys, I think. Here's another one which um, looks wonderful and it should work very well, but it's very, very iffy. It's a very old toy. Look at this. This is, um, I think, 1950s or later. It's a, it's a rabbit clown toy from, from made in Britain. On the edge of the thing, it's rather odd this because it's showing a, a horse racing event, jumping. That's nothing whatever to do with what's happening inside. So the interesting thing is inside, we've got, as it were, I'll, well, I'll hold up the camera first. Um, we've got an arena. You're looking at, the, you're in a, in a circus. You're, you're right at the very top. Uh, your trapeze artist is looking down and there's all the spectators. And there's the arena. And that's where the clowns, who are down here at the moment, are going to perform. So to bring it down to camera like this and here, we'll get it to do something, shall we? I find actually one of my little things, you, what you're supposed to do is just rub it like that. And I'm having, not having much, like, oh yes, that's, he, look, he, he's starting to dance. But I'll use this thing here, which is a little electrostatic generator to make him move around a bit. There we are, he's dancing all over the place. He's upside down as well. The other chap's having a sleep, he's lying down prone. I think with a, with, on a dry day with a good cloth and a lot of rubbing, you can get a good charge on this uh, plastic top surface here. And then it'll perform and, and, and start dancing a bit. This other one's definitely sitting out this particular performance. But look how random it is. Look, now he's he's on the, on the side, on, on an arm and a leg. Now he's upside down again. So now he's hanging. He's hanging from the, from the roof. <laughs> Extraordinary. So that actually had a lot of fun. And unfortunately, I don't think anyone in the toy industry has had a go at remaking it because it would be a really quite a nice electrostatic toy. Uh, but all you can find is antique versions. And then suddenly, in 2008, there's a wonderful moment at the New York Toy Fair when really the best of the um, electrostatic toys appeared, the fun fly stick, which we had a jolly good long run on, the, on our, on our um, uh, web shop. And this has got, I've got a clear version I can't find, but it's got a little Van der Graaff uh, belt inside taking just three volts worth of battery, two one and a half volt batteries, power up to here and depositing the electrons here, and you're getting about 20,000 volts or something, a very high voltage. When you push the button, it's doing it. So there's a big field there, but it's so tight, I can't even feel anything, because it's very high voltage, but very, very, very low current. The other thing they did, which is wonderful, was find the best thing for making things float. This is extremely light, sort of um, plastic stuff with a, a nice silvering effect. And I pull back and set it going, which shows it up in the air. Oops. Oh, so, yep, yep, he bring it down a bit. And he dances around in the air in a superb way. This has been such a lot of fun for kids to play with. And you push that through at the end to, to catch it on, on the edge of the things. And then they did various other, other versions. There's another one here with whipsy wopsy stuff. I'm not sure whether it's going to float or not. We'll have a go. Yeah, all sorts of funny bits and pieces there. So that's been a lot of fun. I think, to my mind, the best of the electrostatic toys, given that they're a rarity, are probably this type of thing for the very small kids to introduce them to it. 
And then this one, which is really, it's unsurpassed for its um, play value. It's quite the best thing. If you ever go to a science museum, incidentally, I think um, like Vintertour in, in, um, uh, in Switzerland had the best I've ever seen. A man standing on blocks of, of, of wax. He was charged up to 100,000 volts. His hair stood up, up there as if he was having an awful fright, but he was grinning broadly like that. And the sight was incredible. I've never seen anything quite like it before. So it can be very, very exciting if you've got a big electrostatic generator in a science museum. Go and find it. Otherwise, in toys, those really are, for the small children, that's probably the best one and a good start to it. And this is a superb one when it comes back in again. It comes and goes um, for, for all, all ages, really. And that really covers electrostatics. It's a, it's a real rarity, but the few things that are around are ace. <laughs>